guys in this video i'm going to discuss about how to configure and install master data service in sql server 2019 so let's open at your software folder and here this is the sql server 2019 so let's click on setup of sql server 2019 so i please wait while microsoft sql server 2019 community is in process now here after click on install and here you can find new sql server as trend around installation so first time if you install then you can use or add features to an existing installation so i'm going to add the features so click that op link now here after click on next Now here after click on next. So add here add features to an existing instance of SQL Server 2019. So I'm going to add the features of master data service. So select this radio button and here after click on next. So this is the instance features now I scroll down and here you can find master data service click this checkbox and here you can find the description about and here this is uh, at your disk space required 619 NB and this is the error and this is the going to install the directory and your save features and your save features on x86 now click on next Now here you can find general configuration features master data service. So this feature I'm going to install. Click on install. So at here it will take some time. So now I'm going to pause the video. At your feature master data service install successfully. So at here install successful. Now here after close that and here after go to start and here or uh, search at your SQL Server folder. This is going to use 2019 here. So inside there you can find uh, uh, so this is the configuration and here data quality and here data quality install here error and here this is the install and here you can find master data service configuration. Click that link. Now here you can find master data service configuration manager and here you can find data configuration and web configuration so at your internet information service before creating mds web application you must correct the following errors so i'm not going to do that here create and configure master data service create web applications first i'm going to create a database configuration click there now here you can find so these are two features that upgraded upgrade database prepare database so add your master data service database and your master data service database version so going to create add your new database now here after click next and here the sql server instance so add here oh, i'm going to use add here sql server 2019 so add here we need to copy this or uh, survey server name and here paste at this point now here authentication tab current user it's fine or you can use at your SQL server account so if you give at your SQL server account you have to give username and password so going to give at your username password so add your username login and give the password so this is at your SSMS now here after test connection so at the connection succeeded click on ok now here after click on next and here give the database name so going to give at here master db 
now here after it's fine data it is closing so it will default color set click on next and here username that is it's fine if you want then here you can change click on next and here this is data sql server instance and here database going to create master db collection and here add administrator account click on next so add here preparing to create database its first part access and here escape its in progress so add here create database create or new master database service database so add here it all success now click on finish so add here sql server as and sql server error so add here it's not running so let's open add here ssms and here that i just created one database master db and here you can find tables oh god there are so many tables it's created there now here after i'm getting the error message at here sql server as it on as SQL Server as and now SQL Server is not running, so I'm going to run the SQL Server as and right click and here after click on start. So click add here, yes. So it's a start running at here, SQL Server as and now here master db after click on select database and here SQL Server instance so we need to copy this instance so at here this is instance at here this is for SQL Server 2019 now paste there now here after SQL Server and here SA1234 password connect So add here it's a connected now here after master db that I just created click on ok. So database add here it's a selected. Now here after the next part is web configuration. Click there and here you can or create a new web application. So add here give the website name and here this is the host name and here name, username, password and confirm password. So after that you can create add here you can create the new website so you wanna use at your default website click there now here after you need to click on create and here so this is the virtual file and here alias and here give the username so i'm going to give username from and here give the password and you have to click on ok so at your web application it's come add here. Now if you want then here you can select so add here SQL Server Instance 2019 authentication tab SQL Server account here give the username and here give the password. Now click on connect. So add here master db it's selected click on ok. So add here SQL Server Instance and your database selected. So this is the way we can configure master data service using SQL Server 2019. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.